Since the mid-70s, the punk movement in Britain has spawned a great number of new bands. Only a very few have survived. One group that lasted beyond the duration of the punk fad is the Stranglers. Stranglers. They know how to rock and roll and they're artists. Four guys, tired, fed up, bored, you know, they, they cut a record, they say what they really feel, they don't care about, about it being commercial, they just want to communicate. This is all new to me, it's all new, I think it's very strange, you know. Their, their music is incredibly meticulous, it's so well orchestrated that it, it stands up to repeated listening. Well, when we, when we first started we had to do, uh, we accepted any work we could get because no one wanted, no agencies in London would touch us because we were, what we were doing was too dangerous because uh, it was out of vogue with everything else that was going on at the time. So we got gigs uh, in old people's homes, in um, rotary club meetings and cemeteries. cemeteries and army camps and these people would expect a top 40 band. It's our own, you know, we don't want to, we'd hate to be a member of a club that would have us as a member basically. I mean, there's no, there's no point. It's not up to us to describe our music. We just have, it's just up to us to play it. Basically serious lads. The Stranglers don't mince words, whether they're talking about nasty politics, genetic manipulation, or sexual abuse. One song, entitled Five Minutes, reflects their feeling for the rape victim and anger at the rapist. Well, Five Minutes was a song written when uh, I was living in a certain apartment in London and uh, it got smashed in the daytime and we were sharing, uh, four of us sharing the apartment and uh, a girl was there by herself one afternoon and got raped and the fact it was five minutes from the richest street in uh, London. The Stranglers have endured lean times, sleazy pub engagements and the heat of criticism. Along the way they've adopted the rat and the raven as symbols of their will to survive. The amazing thing with the rat is uh, within one generation a rat can, yeah, a species of rat can develop a resistance to its environment, like to the poisons you put down or something, so it's like the ultimate survivor um, in mythology. Um, Odin's sort of reporters, he had two ravens, one on each shoulder, and they would go out, fly off and inform him of what was happening in the rest of the world. Take it from there. And now, here's the Stranglers performing Duchess.